So my name is Serena George, and I work as a quality assurance specialist with the Deviation Investigation Group. So I investigate when things go wrong. Amgen is a biopharmaceutical company, and we make drugs, also known as medicines. A biologic is basically a drug that's made from a living organism. In our case, we use Chinese hamster ovaries, known as Cho cells, to manufacture our protein of interest. So biologics are challenging to manufacture because they are sensitive to the environment in which they're being housed. So any changes to processing parameters like temperature, flow rates, pH, carbon dioxide, dissolved oxygen can impact the cells and basically change the structure of your protein. At the end of the manufacturing process, you would do an identity test to ensure that you have the protein of interest. If you don't have the protein that you would like to manufacture, basically, it's no good. You could not administer that to a patient. And it could be subtle changes. So I work with the Quality Investigation Group and I investigate deviations. And deviations are basically failure to follow written procedures or an unexpected result. You're essentially a detective and you're basically using science to ensure that your product is what it is. There is a business aspect to it. If you keep having repeated events, it's costing the company money. And from a regulatory standpoint, it is important. What you're giving to your patient is safe and effective. So you're assessing why did the sample fail? And you can use different types of methodology to determine that. So it could be something as simple as what we refer to as a 5Y analysis. So for example, you're driving to Amgen on your way here and you had an accident. So the question would be, why did Jason have an accident? And it would be like, well, Jason had an accident because he was on his cell phone. Well, why was he on his cell phone? Well, Serana called him to see if he was showing up on time. And well, why did Serana have to call him? He didn't meet the established timeline in which we were supposed to start the interview. And well, why didn't he meet that? There was traffic coming out of Providence. Why was there traffic coming out of Providence? So it's that never ending question until you get to the root cause of the issue and then implement actions to prevent that from happening again. So it's not based on opinions, it's based on facts. And you know you got to the root cause. In the case of a 5Y, when there's no additional why in which you can ask. You have to be a people's person. You have to be able to get information from people and get it quickly. You can't be afraid to ask questions. Even when you think it might be a stupid question, you still need to ask it, especially if you think it's critical to the investigation. My favorite thing, no two investigations are the same. Even though sometimes you think it is because it might be the same process, the same process step, the root cause can be different. The contributing factors can be different. So that keeps you on your toes and it keeps the job exciting. You don't get bored. So I would say what has made me successful in my career is that I'm very detail oriented. I've always challenged myself into a new role, learning new skill set. So I'm very solution driven. And I think it's not just in work, it's also outside of work. I think that's just me and that's how I'm wired. So just having goals, things that you want to accomplish, definitely help to steer you in the right direction or it would help you to find your niche, your passion, what you're interested in. It doesn't necessarily have to be as formal and rigid as I need to find an internship at Rhode Island Hospital. It could be as informal as just data gathering to figure out if that is really what you're interested in. So it can be networking, reaching out to people. It can be challenging yourself, taking a class that you don't think you're great at. Biotech is not just about science and having a degree in the science field or in the engineering field. We have people who work in facilities and engineering, HVAC technicians. We manage logistics and supply, so we need people who know how to move things around. Automation, um, set up processing parameters, so we need people with computer background. So it's not just if you're not biophysics, you're chemical engineer, that biotech won't work for you. We need people from human resources. 
there's a whole lot of professions within the biotech industry that's not just centered around science and technology. The job here can be very challenging. Investigations are not always clear cut. There are times when it could be discouraging because you can't figure out what the issue is or it takes time to figure out what the issue is. But any time for me, personally, that a patient comes on site and talks about the difference that our product makes in their lives, that perks me up. Even when I'm having like a challenging day, I was like, okay, let's focus here. You know, this is what we're working towards. So that has always been inspirational. Apart from the fact that I love science and I love technology and I love innovation, just knowing that you're putting safe, effective products out there that is impacting people's lives, it makes your work worthwhile. <laughs>